world. But all that needs to what good sandwiches, Italian style, to feed men like me. And this is the way we do it. This is what I want just a snack. But when I'm really, really serious about the food that I want, we make it double. This is a sandwich. And next time somebody talks to you, say, oh, I want a little sandwich, a little tiny mini sandwich, you say, here, this is a Stellino sandwich. So we'll put this right next to the photo, but don't go away. I want to show you another way to serve this on an elegant plate, hot out of the oven, base of tomato sauce at the bottom. We sprinkle it with some fine Parmigiano cheese all the way around. A little bit of chopped basil. We look at this and we say, I love to be Sicilian. Why? Sicilian food is wonderful, it's rich, and after all, look at me. This made me who I am. Ciao. To make fried eggplant, you will need one eggplant, coarse salt, three-fourths cup all-purpose flour, two large eggs, one cup breadcrumbs, four to six tablespoons extra light olive oil, two cups tomato sauce warmed, six to eight large basil leaves thinly sliced, one cup fresh mozzarella cheese, and one fourth cup freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I was once asked, why is it that I love to cook? I'll tell you why. Freedom. When you're in the kitchen, I don't care what recipe you're looking at, mine, yours, whatever it is, you can always improvise and create something new. In this case, that's exactly what we have. This recipe is based on a recipe from my latest book, but I've changed it. I've taken a sandwich recipe and I've exalted it into culinary style. But I will show you how to make a wonderful appetizer with truffle and wild mushrooms. Bring it together into a volant with a sauce of velvety, wonderful, cheesy finishes using the Fontina, uh, Fontina cheese from Valdaosta, which will completely elevate this dish to an Olympus all of its own. After this incredible presentation, you might wonder to yourself, is that possible? Is it not? I will challenge myself. Let's start first and foremost with dried porcini. Look at this. These guys are so stiff, you could actually build houses with it, you see? Now, you cannot eat them this way. In order to be able to eat a dry porcino, what you need to do is to put in some hot broth. That's exactly what we've done. Here is what the porcini look like after they have marinated inside the hot broth for at least 20 minutes. I'm going to lift one up. I want you to see how soft it is. See? The malleability, the softness. It's incredible. But unless you do this, you cannot work with that. Still do use the marinating juice because that is powerful, it's full of flavor. It has the essence of the broth that we've used and also has the essence of the porcini which has been released inside there. Next thing what we're going to do before we get started is to actually take some mushrooms. And the mushrooms I want to use, a few different mushrooms. We've got a couple of white mushrooms, cremini, some of the little puntini over here, a couple of oyster mushrooms, a couple of white mushrooms. You ready? Here we go. Let's get these guys going. Most important thing when you cook is to pay attention to what you do, and the rule of five is what applies. For those of you who are familiar with the rule of five, it simply means that you have five fingers, which should be still attached to your hand by the time you're completed with the chopping. Don't look at anything else but the camera. You see some of these show-offs people, you know, going around, talking to the camera, and then chopping, then talking. And then next thing you know, oh my gosh, it's a trip to the hospital, an unpleasant one as well. But this way, instead, what you do, you get intense focus into the job at hand. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we got here just about everything. You, how should I cut you? The same way I cut the other. Sharp knife is very important. If there's one tool that you want to invest in your household, is to make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Here's the soft porcini. We'll move, ah, you know what, let's use them all. Why be stingy about this? Put them in there, put this away. <laughs> I'm in command. This is my command center. So, we have all the mushrooms that we want, nice and mixed. The olive oil in the pan is just about out as I want it. First and foremost, we go with the olive oil. 
and into the other one we put the garlic. Together with the garlic, some red pepper flakes, a little bit more, just because I want the type of character. And then, then you wait until the garlic just starts to color a little bit, just a little bit. When you see it right about where you want it to be, it's now time for a mushroom mixture to go in there. Bada boom! Some more. Bada bang! Oh man, this is fantastic. And this is the part I love the most. You want to make sure that everything comes together. The base is all the wall. We got the garlic with the red pepper flakes, but it's not finished yet. We continue. Toss it. As you toss it, make sure that they brown nicely. The whole process here to cook on a medium high heat is to make sure that everything gets nice brown crust on the outside, seals in the flavor. The mixture of the different flavors from the different mushrooms is the variety that we're looking for. Don't add salt at this point, simply add pepper. Why not salt? Salt is excellent, but what the salt will do, will take out some of the water. And as the water mixes together with the olive oil, it will prevent these from browning because it will create a steam effect. Now, I'm going back to some of the juice that I saved before. This is the same juice in which we had marinated the dry porcini. Add it to the pan. Si, è così si fa, hai visto? Oh, now this is not part of the recipe. I'm going to add a little bit of brandy too, guarda. All right, we'll let that finish cooking. While this finishes cooking, when I get it reduced almost down to nothing, Here's what I'm going to show you next. I'm going to add some more cream to this double boiler. Together with the, oh, the smell, the aroma that's coming out this way. You guys have no idea. You have no idea. In addition to the cream, in the double boiler, we'll put some fontina. Fontina is a very creamy cheese, excellent, fantastic. And this is at the base of our sauce. Let's put in a little shot of brandy, maybe two. Then you mix it real well together. See how it melts quickly? Oh, this sauce is spectacular, splendid. Oh, yes, it's done. We take these mushrooms, the whole composition that we have done, we bring it right here to the food processor. Next thing that we do. Mascarpone, Italian cream cheese. We we'll put it in there. This I can never pronounce right. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. That sauce that looks like it's dark. You put it in there. Then, where's the top? Over here. The sound, this mixture, it is splendid. You process this until it's a cream. At this point, you have to chill it you have to just let it go. When you do it, make sure that you leave some of the mushrooms out because we're going to use these mushrooms for the decoration. Just a moment, I'll show you exactly what that means. Next thing that we do is this. This is what the mixture looks like. After we let it cool overnight, it gets nice and cold again, and the mascarpone reacquires again the cheesy-like uh, consistency, and this is what we have. If you wanted to make this even more powerful in terms of flavor, what we could have done we could have added some uh, truffle oil, but we're going to save that for later. All right, this is puff pastry. Hello, everybody. How are you, puff pastry? Nice meeting you. <laughs> I should keep my day job. I'm aware of the fact. This is puff pastry that we have cooked, and then once it's cooked, we have cut the top off. We have all of the inside, and now this inside, we're going to basically fill with the mixture of the mushrooms that we made. Gently elegantly put this one here aside follow me come on come on, follow me where did i put it oh here it is in a serving dish like this we take the fontina sauce and we put it in it all the way at the bottom of the plate ah you want to coat the bottom of the plate that is the key now, ooh, ooh, ooh. there's a little spillage, a little spillage. The unprofessional people usually, they go with the rag. But if you know what you're doing, if you're confident in the flavor that you place together, you bring this. Okay. Here we go with the volant. 
Here are some of the mushrooms that I used before. I save the side. Get your fingers in there. You want to make a nice little decoration. Try to use all the different mushrooms that are part of the composition. Some of them, even sprinkle them around for beauty if you must. And then, then the next thing that we do, ha ha, here it is. This is an Italian tool, is a truffle slicer. We do not have fresh truffles here, but what we have is truffles that came from the jar, so to speak. But still, sprinkle it right on top of it. To give it a wonderful finish. Oh, this is a dish for kings. Well, it fits me perfectly, being the king of my own kitchen. According to my wife, I am a legend in my own mind. From time to time, I tend to believe that she is right. This is the point that you stop. You look around for the competition and you realize that that is not. Why? Because when you make something like this, so much passion and so much love, you are bound to succeed. Ciao. There it is. To make Fontina with truffles and mushrooms, you will need one half ounce dried porch. I just couldn't let myself buy that way again. Here, a direct buy, just for example, I got this one light, and I paid 109 for it, and the store would have been over $200. If you trust the, your builder, your contractor, stay. In, in Darfur, and that uh, the countries provide enough, enough support for that, and that agencies on the ground who are, who are working with um, Darfurians ensure that uh, that women in particular and, and children have access to, to much needed services and psychological support and uh, medical services as a result of, of the traumas that, that they have faced. So if you're a person calling your member of justamente han nacido después de la dictadura de Leonidas Rafael Trujillo. Dice que no es que ella esté pidiendo el autoritarismo en la en, en el poder, pero sí en la justicia, porque esos no han sabido lo que es respetar justicia, por la forma en que se practica hoy en día. De acuerdo a lo que ella dice, la Constitución no tiene que ser la prioridad número uno para en la modificación de la Constitución, como la, la prioridad número uno, cuando el país en realidad tiene otras cosas más urgentes que son, como por ejemplo, el prepararse para reiniciar los pagos de la deuda externa que fue negociada, nosotros aquí en el de la Cuatro hemos hablado de eso. Hemos dicho que el gobierno se está de cuidar. Mr. Allen. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Bai. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Biden. Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Bond. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brownback. Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. <laughs> Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Carper. With season, go on your dress in 15 delicious layers like flaming knot. With season, it's canine cuisine. For those who love cashews, there's new pleasures. Caballeros podrán darse un taco de ojo. Pero para qué esperar más? Vamos a ver estas imágenes que nuestra reportera Elisa Maturiel.
hermoso y toda cabellera y con toda la intención de que su apariencia sea todavía más sensual. Chequense qué experiencia de Marlene en el modelaje, sobre todo que nos muestra varias facetas, gran sonrisa, satisfacción, inocencia y muy atrevida. Así mostró su escultura al cuerpo en todos sus ángulos y con varios cambios de bikini. Si a alguien no le... some of the biggest international internet scams that rob Americans of over a hundred thousand dollars every single day. Women are handing over thousands to per... ...allows the uh, President of the United States to arrest anybody he thinks is a, you know, illegal combatant or whatever the word is, uh, despite the fact that you, you may or may not be an American... Uh, ...scars. 
that you have not recovered from, but which the person you would love with the eyes of a 20 year old or fall in love with, you might not fall in love with at In the bar, your kit is the E pin wand itself. It's Uh, because of their proximity to New York, because of the density of population, because of the commerce and industry that exists here. In the past, any Marine law enforcement operation required Middlesex County officials to request mutual aid assistance from either the New Jersey State Police, dispatched from Newark or Point Pleasant, or from the NYPD, both of whom had 90-minute response times. So there is no one town that has the financial or the human resources uh, to be able to take on this initiative of providing the homeland security that starts as hometown security. And so this is a first step in many steps that we have to take over a period of time, uh, again, to adapt our life. ¿Qué fue lo que te pasó, Clara? Porque tienes todos esos moletones, amiga. Ay, no sé, dice, no, hombre encapuchado me golpearon. Uno son. We also have either... Magazine is your guide to what's happening and when on NYC TV, Radio NYC, and the web. We'll be back with more highlights and sneak peeks right after these messages. You know New York City is filled with hidden treasures and buried secrets. And we know you want to know what they are. Tune in to Kelly Choi on The Secrets of New York, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Right here on NYC TV, Channel 25. We're everything New York. And that's a secret you can tell. How'd you like to get inside New York City's most famous landmarks? Blueprint New York City gives you an insider's view you can't get anywhere else. We'll show you things you've never seen and answer questions you've always had. Watch Blueprint New York City every Monday night at 8 p.m. on NYC TV, Channel 25. We're everything New York. Want to know what's hot in fashion? NYC TV's got an inside look at the beauty and business of the industry in the only series that takes you beyond fashion's velvet rope. Step up your style and take a front row seat at all the latest designer shows on Fashion in Focus, airing every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock, right here on NYC TV, Channel 25. We're everything New York. We'll be back with more highlights and sneak peeks right after these messages. There's something about you, baby. Got you looking at me, I'm gonna call you bluff. There's something about you. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It takes a man to be a dad. Hi, how you doing? Good. Uh, do you know how late the local library is open today? No. If you have questions about New York City government information and services, do you want a sandwich? No. Just call 311. Do you know where I can find out about volunteer opportunities for the city? Do you guys? Excuse me, sir. Quick question. Do you know anything about, can you explain alternate side of the street parking? Can you explain? It's 9911. Dial 311. Someone must know! Now I love sports, but you gotta play the game that's right for you. Same with computer and video games. That's why parents should make sure each game is right for their kid. How? Check the rating. Every game box has a rating symbol that suggests what age the game is best for, and a content label that tells you what's in the game. When you check the rating, you know what to expect. See? You gotta play the game that's right for you. All you need is courage to join the fight. Problem is, we're being ravaged by a far greater epidemic than AIDS, fear. Fear that you alone can't make a difference. Thing is, you can help prevent the 40,000 new cases estimated this year. All it takes is the courage to do something. Wear the ribbon, talk to your friends, donate your time, something. How did I join the fight? By educating others. 
Join the fight. Here's a look at what's happening on NYC TV, channel 25, 22 for Cablevision subscribers. We're turning up the volume on New York's rocking underground music scene. For the hottest music and performances you can hear or see anywhere else, tune in and turn it up for New York Noise. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on NYC TV, channel 25. We're everything New York. for its parades and New Yorkers love these rolling celebrations. Enjoy the city's diverse communities as they party through the streets. As far as to the extent of the outage, Drive Midtown to Queensboro and West Side Highway. Up next, Brooklyn and Staten Island, right after these messages. Hi, this is Latarsha Rose, back with some news about parking meters from the New York City Department of Transportation. Closures in place for the UN General Assembly and the buses affected are as follows. The M15, 27, 42, 50, and 104, and the following closures are in place. First Avenue, 42nd to 48th Streets, 44th, 45th, and 46th between 1st and 2nd, and the FDR Drive entrance and exit ramps at 42nd Street um, until... No. This is the man who shot and killed a 16-year-old girl and sexually assaulted some of his hostages. But why he did it is still unclear. It all happened yesterday in Valley, Colorado. CBS correspondent Jennifer Miller is there now with late details. Jennifer. maybe cutting down. I was just sitting there, you know, reading sports, having a cup of joe. Patrons divide. Morning, the burglars targeted a tree-lined neighborhood just north of Watcham Avenue. Sports, this is a... Chester's overhead power lines was different than the feeder cable problems in Queens. Thousands of residents were without power for several days. Some lawmakers who called for Burke to step down in July say nothing has 